In this lesson, we will discuss green system pumps, blue system pumps, yellow system pumps, hydraulic panel, and the ECAM hydraulic page. A pump driven by engine 1 pressurizes the green system to a normal pressure of 3,000 pounds per square inch. An electric pump pressurizes the blue system to a normal pressure of 3,000 pounds per square inch. In case of an emergency, a pump driven by the ram air turbine will pressurize the blue system to a pressure of 2,500 pounds per square inch. A pump driven by engine 2 pressurizes the yellow system to a normal pressure of 3,000 psi in flight as a backup or on the ground with engines stopped. An electric pump can pressurize the yellow system. When the yellow electric pump is activated by ground handling for cargo door operation, all other yellow system functions are inhibited except alternate braking. On the ground, with electric power not available, a hand pump can be used to pressurize the system. The engine 1 and 2 pump push-button switches for the green and yellow hydraulic systems are located on the overhead hydraulic panel. When the engine is running and the switch is in the on or light out position, the pumps pressurize their respective hydraulic systems. Touch the engine 1 pump push-button switch to turn it off. When the engine pump push-button switch is pushed off, the pump is depressurized and the generation of hydraulic power stops. The amber fault light illuminates if the reservoir level is low, the reservoir overheats, the reservoir air pressure is low, or the pump pressure is low. The fault light for pump low pressure is inhibited on the ground, with the engines not running, to prevent nuisance warnings. With the engine 1 or 2 pump push button switch indicating fault, and the switch selected off, the fault light will go out, except for reservoir overheat where the light will show fault as long as the reservoir overheat exists. The guarded blue electric pump push-button switch is normally in its auto lights-out position. On the ground with one engine running and AC power available, the electric pump will operate. In flight with AC power available, the blue electric pump will operate if the engines are running or shut down. Touch the blue electric pump push button switch to turn it off. The pump is de-energized when the blue electric pump push button switch is selected off. The blue electric pump push button switch fault light will illuminate if the blue reservoir level is low, the reservoir overheats, the reservoir air pressure is low, the pump pressure is low or the pump overheats. The pump low pressure fault is inhibited on the ground when the engines are stopped. The fault light will go off when the blue electric pump push button switch is selected off, except for a reservoir or pump overheat, where the fault light will remain illuminated as long as the overheat condition exists. Normally, the spring-loaded yellow electric pump push-button switch is in its off, light-out position. With the pump selected off, the pump is de-energized. However, when a cargo door lever is set to open or close, the yellow electric pump comes on automatically. The yellow electric on light does not illuminate and the operation of flight controls is inhibited. Touch the yellow electric pump push-button switch to turn on the yellow electric pump. The pump is energized when the yellow electric pump push-button switch is selected on. The yellow electric pump push-button switch fault light will illuminate and ECAM caution will be displayed if the yellow reservoir level is low, the reservoir air pressure is low, the reservoir overheats, the pump pressure is low, or the pump overheats. The fault light will go off when the yellow electric pump push-button switch is selected off, except for a reservoir or pump overheat, where the fault light will remain illuminated as long as the overheat condition exists.
Hydraulic system information is displayed on the ECAM hydraulic page. A green inline indicates the associated push button switch for the pumps is on, and hydraulic pressure is normal. An amber cross line indicates the associated pump is off. An amber low indicates the associated push button switch for the pump is on, but hydraulic pressure is low. A green inline indicates the blue electric pump is on, and hydraulic pressure is normal. An amber cross line indicates the blue electric pump is off. An amber low indicates the pump is on, but hydraulic pressure is low. The yellow electric pump control symbol is normally white, indicating the electric pump is off. It appears green when the electric pump is on, and amber when the electric pump is on, but the yellow system has low pressure.